One of the things that we can do with strings is use them to acquire input from an interactive user. What we mean by that is that strings enable us to have the user enter data and then we can use that data to process in our programs. The way we do this is by using what's called the input function. The input function has a single parameter which is the prompt that will be displayed. And so if I were to create an example of the input function and use the prompt enter your name, then when we execute this function, what the input function does is it displays the prompt string that you supplied and then it waits. And what it's waiting for is for you to enter some data. In particular, it's going to take any keys that you strike and create a string from that input. So if I were to type in D A B I D and then return, notice that the value that is displayed is the string David. And the reason this is displayed is because that is the result or the return from that input function. So the input function prompted me with a string, enter your name, waited for me to type something in, and then when I did type something in, it took those characters and returned them as a string. Now more often it would be the case that we would use this in conjunction with an assignment statement. So we might do something like name will be a reference to the result of calling the input function with the prompt enter your name. Now when I execute this assignment statement, the right hand side is evaluated which invokes the input function which displays the prompt. Now it's waiting for me to type something in. If I type in Fred and hit return, then nothing happens. Well, something did happen. The assignment statement completed its work. And so the value now that name refers to is the object that was returned from the input function. And in this case, since I entered Fred, name now is a reference to the string Fred. We can do the same thing with numeric data. So I could say age is a reference to input and then I could give a prompt enter your age and again the prompt would show up I would type it in and hit return and the prompt comes back because the assignment statement completed but now if I look at age it's now a reference to the value that was entered but now we have to be careful because Remember that data entered from the keyboard is going to be in character form and the result is going to be a string, a sequence of characters. And so notice that age in this case is actually the string 4, 5. It's not the number or the integer 45. And we can see that if we ask what is the type of the value referred to by age and we see that in fact it is a stir. It is a string. So here's a place where if we know we want to use integer data, we can use our conversion functions. And so what I can do is I can use the int function applied to the age variable, and that will convert the string 45 into the integer 45. So by combining the input function and the int function, I can then convert character input that the user enters interactively into an integer value that I can use for computation later. Now the most common use for the input statement then would be to supply information to the program so that I could call functions or do computation or do processing of some kind. The problem is is that I would have to know what kind of data I would like to receive so that I can either convert it properly or make sure that I'm checking for any errors that might occur.